what's up guys in my last lecture on operators I had used two exclamation sign for not operator but it's actually two straight lines for not logical operator uh, in my IDE I had properly used these two straight lines but while I was writing a notepad by mistake I had written two exclamation sign so I'm sorry for that okay till now we are working with static data as in uh, we were creating a variable x and assigning it a value of 4 or something like something like assigning a value of y as 0 0.123 so we were using static data we were these these were predefined data that we were using but suppose that i want to create a program wherein uh, i want to take input from the user as a user can dynamically change the input and uh, get the output uh, basically I want to create a generic program okay so for that we must learn to take inputs there is a predefined function on a scanf which is defined in the htdio.h uh, header file so you can use that so how does this scanf function works Okay, I'll write this. Okay, scan of. Firstly, it takes a string, and okay, in this string, it's we have to write the type of input we are taking. Uh, you might be remembering in the print printf function, we used to write percentage d for an integer, percentage c for a character, and so on. Similarly, if you I want to take a character as input, so I write percentage c. Similarly, for uh int integer as input I'll write percentage D and so on here in the second part I need to write the address of the variable now what's this address of the variable how how do we get an address of the variable that's the main question you might it might be arising in your mind mind okay we have an operator called ambassand okay if we write ambassand and variable name variable name what does this does it returns address of variable address of the variable name okay whatever the name uh, so this is passed as a second parameter you can see a second parameter here okay so how does this work actually uh, this line says take input as a character from the user and store it in the address which is mentioned here this is this parameter this argument actually is the address so it takes the input and stores it in the address suppose for for an integer for an integer as input you will have something like scanf percentage percentage d comma and address suppose we had created an int x okay an integer x so you would have ampersand x this is the way of taking input you might be thinking from where this ampersand came from this ampersand okay what is the use of this ampersand is that ambassador and then a variable name returns the address of the uh, variable uh, where it is stored as in the contents of the variable where it is stored uh, you will learn more about this op uh, ambassador operator in your tutorial on pointers uh, which will come at a later stage so let's try it out in our code we'll create a new file i'll write the basic structure as usual as include standard so till now we have uh, studied two functions which are included in stdio.h header file one is the printf and the other one is a scanf function okay in name and return zero so what we are doing in this uh, program firstly I'll take an input of x as an integer 
and print it out and print next would be y as a character character and print it out uh, these two lines are comments okay so we'll create a variable x as an integer in text will not assign it a value now we'll create a print statement printf we'll write here enter value of x full stop and a backslash n we'll write scanf for taking the input of x percentage d comma ampersand x where's the ampersand sign and x yeah let's save this file i'll give it a name mm. okay do i say it yeah see programs yeah I'll give it a name input uh, you'll find the source code in our description uh, of the video so you can download it from there C file and I save it okay now let's compile and execute compile and run okay it's saying enter and value of X I'll write 12 okay the program ended okay now again we'll check that the value actually assigned or just uh, something is happening I'll now print x print f x is equal to percentage d comma I'll put a backslash in here and the variable x let's see what we are getting enter a value of x suppose 13 x is equal to 13 yes that's it okay so similarly let's work out for a character uh, for the character i'll write a printf statement uh, saying enter the value of y enter the value of y and a backslash n for new line okay i'll take an input of character so i'll write percentage c and ampersand x the address ampersand y sorry the address of y and a printf y is equal to or oh, this is for checking that y will actually assign the value or not percentage c on the backslash n a new line comma y so let's save it and let's execute compile and run uh, uh, some problem okay yeah this back black slash n should be inside the double quotes uh, now let's execute and run this file uh, again an error okay it's scan f not scan uh -uh. one more error why is declared first okay I haven't declared okay why is undeclared so I need to declare why it's car why compile and run okay enter a value of x suppose I want it to be 13 okay why isn't it taking the value of y okay let's see in our code okay yeah I got it uh, C in in C language uh, enter and 
uh, space bar is also considered as a considered as a character so after uh, taking the input 13 we pressed an enter so it took the enter as a character for C a character for y and uh, so it didn't ask the second input as enter is also treated as a character so to avoid this in the scanf statement uh, leave a space before percentage c it's just to prevent uh, taking spacebar uh, spaces and enter as characters okay so now let's uh, compile and run a file enter a value of x suppose 14 okay yeah you'll get it now enter the value of okay first we entered a value of x that's 14 now they're asking to enter the value of y suppose i want it to be d so y is equal to d yes we got it so this was a tricky part uh, in c language i'll repeat once more in c language space bar uh, spaces and enter is also considered as characters so you need to leave a space here just uh, this is to prevent uh, taking enter and spaces as characters uh, similarly you can take input for floating point numbers just instead of uh, uh, percentage d for integer you need to write percentage f for floating point numbers okay suppose i need to take uh, input of strings like hi or hello or some word like programming so how would i use or uh, do this okay in th uh, this involves a concept concept of character arrays you need to store these words in a character array so actually character array for time being you can think of as a sequence of characters array is a complex data type uh, it will be taught in the later tutorials okay so time being consider a character array as a ca sequence of ca uh, characters uh, so how to define a character array or a sequence of characters you need to write char a name any name and in a square par uh, square brackets the size this is the maximum size of the character array so this is declaring character array okay so how to take an input of uh, a string in the scanf function the first parameter is percentage s it's for string and the second parameter is a uh, name name of the character array okay uh, this uh, when we write here name it returns the starting address of the character array actually arrays are stored in continuous memory locations so a starting address is returned here okay so let's try this out in our code uh, suppose i need i'll write here suppose i need a z a character array to store a string and print it where and print so first i'll define a character array char z and the size is suppose okay i'll take it 100 and now uh, let's write a printf statement saying enter a string and a backslash in okay let's take an input using a scanf function in percentage s and the second parameter will would be the name of the character array which is z okay let's print the character array or the string we'll write here 
entered string then percentages comma z okay so let's uh, compile and run enter a value of x suppose it's 13 enter a value of y to this enter a string suppose i give it compiler mm -mm. compiler okay enter string is compiler so yes we have learned to take an input of a string yeah that's it for this uh, tutorial see you in the next one or uh, do subscribe to our channel like the video and provide your suggestions for our, imp uh, for our improvement. Thank you.